You need a shot timer because that which gets measured gets worked on. The Range Tech Timer is the official timer of active self protection because it is versatile, reliable, feature rich, and very economical. Check out all it can do at the link below. Hey everybody, welcome back to Suck Less Saturday. I am your host, Neil, and I am Natalie. joined today <laughs> by the Range Monkey. If you guys watch on, was it Wednesday nights, Thursday nights? Wednesday nights, something like that. Yeah, <laughs> must watch Wednesday. I don't know, we gotta come up with a name for that, but uh, Natalie uh, is the star of that, right? Right. And so it's kind of fun, because I get to shoot with her a little bit more than everybody else, because this is my daughter. Yeah. Um, anybody that knows us knows that <laughs> Natalie's a pretty good shooter, uh, but we just ran a drill for a range monkey video which mm -hmm. one was that the dot torture the dot torture so what did yeah. we learn from dot torture nat we learned i'm not very good at uh gripping with my strong hand one-handed uh, i'm way better with my weak hand i hit all five targets or i hit i got all five shots with my weak hand but i got zero of the five shots with my strong hand so explain that to me so okay so <laughs> first off to suck less we don't say we're not very good we say we are currently struggling with something okay, okay. so right now today as we ran that other drill, you were struggling with your strong hand. So right. we're gonna work on something that's gonna help you focus on the strong hand, and hopefully you're gonna suck a little bit less, right? Hopefully. The whole idea of suck less isn't that we're horrible shooters or bad people, it's that okay. we just wanna get a little bit better, okay? So we've got a table set up here with a target that uh, we shot once today. <laughs> <laughs> Through a bookshelf. Through a bookshelf, that was a lot of fun video too, watch for that one too. and. Um, we're going to use that okay so i'm going to move the camera around here so we get another angle on you but the biggest thing here is that as we draw the gun we want to take that support hand make a good fist and i know you're the karate girl right yeah. what do you like a, i mean a violet belt always... in something or something what did you have i don't remember at this point okay. but um <laughs> i usually would always have my hand like this in martial arts but I think this feels better yep. for shooting because you kind of- It is, because, yeah. And if you cross the center line of your body with this hand, it actually gives you, it feels to me like it gives you a little more strength. Now, you may, your, your mileage may vary, but I like to say over here, right? Yeah. Now, the whole idea of single-handed shooting is, let's say you're incapacitated and you're injured and this hand's flopping around. Well, it's not. Mm -hmm. For the purposes of this drill and today, it's not. We're going to figure this part out. And then if the day comes that you actually get in a gunfight and you actually lose your support hand, well, you're going to figure it out on that day. We may work on that in a whole nother suck less. But today, we're just going to focus on getting this hand in here good, okay? So the big thing that I like to do is bring my the foot that I'm shooting with forward. So if I'm shooting right-handed, I, I point my right toe at the target, and I lean out, knee over the toe, okay? This hand, your support hand over the chest, get in, and then so you can either cant the gun or you can go straight up and down, and this is something that we're going to play with. Uh, and then the thumb trip placement can be straight for this is something I learned from Scott Jedelinski and everybody's a little bit different some people like to grip that thumb down in a really strong grip some like to push it forward and some like to flag it high okay so we're going to do them all dry and see which one you like best okay, okay so step up here to the table so draw your gun show clear Ooh, whew, that gun is hot okay okay so you've got a clear yeah. gun okay so we are in good shape so okay drop your slide now we're gonna do, okay, good. Now, get that support hand where you want it. Okay. Okay, and your toe pointed right at that tar target. Now press that gun out there. Now see how you got your thumb flagged? Yep. Now you can try to push the thumb straight forward or try to grip it all the way down. Now that, you kinda gotta figure out which one oh, you okay. like better. I am a fan of thumbing it up. Yeah. But I know a lot of people like the thumb forward and a lot of people like it crush grip as well, so. Okay. okay, I feel now, like the crush grip makes my hand shake quite a bit more. Okay. But, so know. give me a give me a, a dry fire try press with each one of those. Okay. So crush. Slide down. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Flag and it up hot. Okay, there you go. Forward. Okay. Now. Okay, and then up. Which is what you're used to. Okay. So which do you like best? I think forward actually felt the best for me because okay. when I was down here, I was too focused on my, I'm too focused on my thumb to really focus on my yeah. trigger. Um, but that one does feel, I don't know, it kind of tires out everything right yeah. here from holding the gun. Uh, facing it forward feels like there could be something I could be doing better for the grip, but maybe, you know, it's just my support hand being yep. there. Uh, thumb up is what I'm used to. That one feels good to me. Okay. All right. So now that we've done a few dry like this, um, let's uh, go ahead and holster up quick. Okay. 
Let's get our eyes and ears on, and then we'll load up and we'll do a few live. Okay, Natalie, go ahead and, uh, I gotta turn my ears on. Okay, Natalie, go ahead and load and make ready. Okay, with the gun, decocked, keep it out. Okay, go ahead and press that thing out there and do your preferred one-handed. Okay. There you go. And give me one shot. Okay. Okay. Now, was that thumb forward or thumb up? Thumb up. Okay, now try thumb forward. Okay. Oh, wait. Good idea. Okay, now try it with that crush grip. All right. Now she's decocking in between each round because she has a decocker and this is kind of a draw to first shot kind of thing we're working on. So go ahead. Okay, right. let's go ahead and decock. Now give me three shots with each. You don't have to decock in between. So give me one with the, with the regular trigger and then two more follow up shots All with right. each one of those. Let's try that. This is the crush grip, go ahead. Okay, I want you to try to let go of that trigger in your recoil if you can. Okay. okay. Go ahead and decock. Now give me three with the thumbs forward. Okay. Think about taking this hand and crossing your chest with it. There. Try right there. Okay. Really grip in there with that. There you go. Okay. Now decock. Let's do thumbs high. Okay. okay, go ahead and safely reholster. Now let's talk here for a second while we reload one of these mags for you because we're just about done here. Which did you like better? Which one felt better to you? I think the, honestly, I think it was somewhere in between thumb down and thumb forward. I think I might be going thumb forward from now on. Okay. Um, so did you see how I made a little triangle with my first three shots? That was on purpose. Um, right. Okay. Then, no, it was. I wanted to see um, <laughs> if it would hit the spot that I'm aiming at or if it, you know. Anyways, um, then I started aiming at that top triangle and it was hitting the bottom okay. every time. So. I don't know if I'm just not sighted in for, what is this, two yards? Yeah, I mean, we're just, it? the target isn't really what we're worried about. It's feeling what we feel with the trigger. Oh, okay. okay. So that's the part about sucking less is figuring out the what fits best for our body style. Everybody's a little bit different. Okay. okay. I think it would be thumb forward then. That one I think felt the best to me. Okay. Thumb down kind of cramped up my thumb a little bit. Okay, so what we're going to do then to wrap this up is now you're going to, you're gonna draw with that one hand and you're gonna do one with the crush grip, bang, 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 three as fast as you can. And then okay. we're gonna safely reholster and then we're gonna do it thumbs forward and then thumb high. And then we're gonna see if that changes at all. Okay, decock. Okay. okay, now with the thumbs forward, but this time draw, bang, 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 fast. Okay, when you're ready, go ahead. Good. Peacock. Now thumbs high. That's all you got. Okay. Didn't have another one. <laughs> Holster up. Drop. There you go. All right, we're clear. Go ahead and take your ears off. Okay, folks, so to the suck less portion of this isn't about the target at, per se, but the idea is that different body styles like the thumb placement a little bit different. I know Tim Heron teaches some uh, a whole nother level of one-handed shooting, and when we get into his class, you're gonna love it and learn that, and then you're even gonna suck less because when you learn from experts, you learn a whole lot more than when you learn from your dad, right? Yeah. <laughs> but what we did learn today that your thumb placement, um, you could play with that a little bit. Uh, you can get out there and get a little bit quicker and do you think you could hit a two inch circle now with one hand when you think about your feet probably. your support hand and all that kind of stuff so you yeah. probably suck less we're probably going to have to tape up another dot torture target just to see aren't we so all right probably. <laughs> we probably won't do that on camera folks we're gonna we're gonna move on here but uh thanks for joining us for suck less come hang out with us in the dry fire group the ask dry fire channel challenge on uh, facebook and uh, you get to do some of this stuff with us play some games with us do some challenges in dry fire yeah. and we all get to suck less thanks nat yeah thanks see you guys later